Hey guys, welcome to dungeon number 8. This is episode n uh, number 17 of my Zelda Mystery of Solaris DX video guide. First, don't go this way. There is nothing to do here. Except fighting a few guys and being locked in a room with anti fairies and um, a, a, a switch to find under one of those skulls. So, it's a trap. Don't go there. Okay. So, this dungeon is was made by Metalizer. Um, he's the, the guy who, who helped me a lot doing this game. And you will see that this dungeon um, has a different style. Because there are... Um, how can I say that? <laughs> the rooms are more, n more normal. You see, you have uh, normal rectangular rooms. Contrary to my dungeons, that were uh, rooms. The rooms in my dungeon had um, very strange shapes. You found a small key! But that doesn't, doesn't mean that this dungeon will be easier. Throw yourself into the depths of the dungeon and carry on your journey. We will need to do this. Um, okay. Um, you can go this way. This way. And this way. But... There is sh there is a shortcut. Mm, how can I show you now? Maybe I can go back this way. Yes. There is a shortcut. You can just do this. Oh no, it's not working. Okay. <laughs> Actually, it's wa it was not a good idea. And for the last step, use your feather. There is a switch under this skull. Da -da 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 -da. And you go back, you can do this. Or just take the shortcut like I did before. Okay. So, um, this chest is very interesting, but the more important thing is to take this key. You found the map! And if you take a look at the map, you will see that there are mm, normal rooms, like I said before. Immobilize them. Okay. So there is a laser here, so you cannot um, get through. You 
have to fall and fall again. And now we will spend a lot of time just trying to get back to the first floor. This is the main goal of the, the first part of the dungeon. 100 rupees, fantastic! Okay, here is an interesting room, or more precisely, two interesting rooms. And you should play with the sound, because when you talk to this, uh, this stone, you can hear the sound of a teletransporter. This means that we are in a different room. Actually, we, have, um, the, uh, we were before in that room on the right of the screen you see we are we are in, the, in a different room now okay so this is a puzzle you have to l mm, activate all switches but when you activate a switch mm, okay this was not very clear when you activate a switch um, it turns on, uh, it, it changes the um, its neighbors, so so it's not easy to activate them all. And if you are lost, you can use this one to uh, clear everything. So um, the easiest solution is to activate the four corners and the central one in any order 50 rupees marvelous mm, there is nothing to do here yet so let's go this way Let's uh, get down one more floor. We found the compass. Hello, big chest. We don't have the, the large key yet. Mm. We have to go this way first. And under this skull, we can open the door. Oops. Here is a small maze of teletransporters. So, um, the technique is quite simple. When you have a choice, always take the teletransporter um, um, that is the furthest one. So, this one, this one, and it's done. In this room you have a few choices to solve the problem. The problem is just this door. It stays open for a few seconds only. It's not so difficult. You can also use a bomb and it's, it will be even easier. 
So, we are back to a room that we already visited, but this time we can go this way. And here we have a choice. We can fall from the north or from the south of the room. Let's fall from the north first. And as you can see, we will have to you do the same path again to reach the second switch. Um, and we will also need to change the crystal switches. It will help us to solve this problem. Yes, I think I can do this right now. I'm just changing the switch and then I go I go back to activate the the second switch. Oh, 20 rupees. So we have we are in this room one more time, but this time it's less easy um, because the switch, the orange blocks are raised. However, it's still not difficult because you can use a bomb or you can use the boomerang. And the feather, just like that. Okay, and this time, you have to fall from the other side of the room. And we have just opened that door. Smokey! And in this room, you are not trapped because you have your hookshot. Mm, this way, yes. Okay, so we have a small key and we'll need a statue. I think it's this one that can move, yes. And this puzzle is a, re a reference to a link to the past in the ice dungeon in the dark world you have to push a block like that in a hole and then push the statue on a switch and you can activate a second switch that opens opens this door but it won't stay open so, use the King of Somaria. Oh! Anti fairy. Yes. Mm, and if I remember correctly, we also have to change the crystal switch to red. In this room, you have a few fairies. So, let's keep them in our magic bottles. And let's use the small key here. This room is quite mm, painful. Um, you have to avoid or to be very careful with the um, brown, uh, the brown tiles, because they indicate the path of of these these uh, pikes. Okay, take your hookshot and just get out of here. Oops. Oh, 
Okay, in this room you have two options. Option number one... Oops, avoid <laughs> the uh, bikes. It's not so easy. Okay. And option number two. Um, when you are here, just get hurt one time and you can traverse the bikes. This dungeon uh, makes several references to some dungeons of A Link to the Past, especially the Ice, dun the ice Dungeon. This room also exists in the Ice Dungeon. Which one is it? This one? Yes. Um, if you are stuck, fight. Fight the spades with spades. Maybe it's not very clear, but it's not very important actually. Um, here is an, a very interesting room because there, there are invisible walls, but the enemies can traverse the invisible walls, and you cannot. Okay, oh, we are stuck. Fight the spades by spades. I don't, I'm not sure it's translated correctly, but you have to use to shoot an arrow like that. But like I said, it's not very important because you can just um no, anyway never mind i mean you can just um accept you get hurt and traverse the bikes I don't remember, I think we have to get the blue blocks down, like that. Okay, so we are gonna need a small key. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> um, because this way you cannot do many things yet. There is, however, that room. Because if you are hungry, you can find you can find a croissant. <laughs> said I was wrong because we had to change the crystal switch to red and when it's red it means that the red or the orange blocks are um, down Okay. Um maybe there's a trick in that room. Mm. 
I'm gonna be nuts. Anyway. I was saying maybe there is a trick to get to the chest faster, but it's not very important because you can just have it um, like I just did and you can also use a bomb to make it a lot easier. Oops. Okay, teletransporter. We are back to a previous room. But now we have a small key. Ah, this way. Let's try to avoid the invisible walls. Mm, okay. Oh, not okay. Let's turn it to blue now. Because I want another croissant. Croissants are all crispy. Oh no, don't use the Pegasus, Pegasus shoes here because you will <laughs> fall into that hole. This is the hole um, that we took in at the beginning of the dungeon and you don't want to do the whole way again just to get back okay so you have changed uh, turned the crystal switch to blue so you can get a croissant another croissant hmm that's good so as I was saying um, at the very beginning of the dungeon. The first part of the dungeon consists consisted in um, falling into that hole and trying to get back here. Okay, so that's, that's what we just did. Okay! Um... Let me introduce you to the greatest puzzle of the whole game, I think. The best one. And one of the most mm, tricky. Okay. So the goal of the puzzle is to reach that uh, switch. Of course, it doesn't work with a bomb like this because the switch is a few pixels too far mm. okay so you have a lot of uh, walls a lot of switches and three special blocks I mean special because they can move Uh, there is one here, one here, and the last one is here. And um, if you walk on any any switch, it resets the blocks, the three blocks. Okay, I have just reset this one, just to show you. So if you make a mistake um, and you you cannot finish the puzzle because of this mistake, oops, you have to walk on a switch and start from the beginning. Restart from the beginning. Oh, 
of course switch the switches are also here to to disturb you okay so how can we do that we have three blocks and we also have the cane of Somaria so um, one block here one block here one block here and one block here one of them will be the block of Somaria but even when you know that it's not so easy to do it's quite tricky so the first one you, you can push it uh, at this place and then let's take the second one and let's avoid to work on one of the switches Okay. Let's take take care of the last one right now. Because I want to get over with the the switches. I'm not talking a lot because I'm trying to focus and not to do a mistake. Okay. Let's continue with the second block. So, second block must be placed here, and now um, I will show you how to do it, the tricky part. I hope I didn't make a mistake. Oh, okay. So we have to push the block um, that way, but first we have to make a Somaria block like that. So what you should do is 
first make the block like I just did, the Samaria block like I just did, and then um, go back, take uh, taking the the third block here. Okay, um, but as I as I took the, the third, third block first, um, I will try to find a way to. Oh no, I can't. Sorry. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god. I will have to do it all over again. Mm, okay, sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. So, the very first thing you can do is just creating that block. Okay. So, let's do it again. <laughs> Here is a small shortcut. Um, this switch can be avoided if you uh, walk just along the wall. I told you that this puzzle was tricky. It's not easy to get it right from the first try, even when you know it. Even it, when you created it, actually. <laughs> Block number two. Mm, block number two is this one. So yes, the first thing you should do is create, uh, creating the Somaya block, then move your three blocks, um, one here, another one here, and uh, another one here. So let's take the last one. this one is the most complicated to get out of these uh, switches I hope I won't walk on a, on a button because 
Okay. It's almost almost done, guys. Okay, and here is a trick. Um, when you are here, create the final Somaria block at this place, and then you can push the other one like that. Because creating um, these blocks, this block. Uh, removes the other one and now the puzzle is completed Ta -da -da -da! Um, here is the door of the boss but there is a laser and anyway we don't have the boss key we don't even have the large key <laughs> Or maybe we do. Mm, later in the, in the game, you will have an, an object that helps you find the weak walls. And you will see that there is a weak wall here. But because I already know that there is a weak wall, let's go and find a piece of heart. Okay, so we have the large key. And don't worry, this puzzle is saved. You won't have to do it again. We have the large key. Um, let's go back to the basements and go back to the large, the big chest. Mm, there is also a um, door here that requires the large key, but we don't have a small key for the next one. And anyway, it's not so easy to get it, get there uh, right now because of that block. So we will do that later when we have a small key and the treasure, the big chest. Okay, so now we are doing the same thing as at the beginning, the beginning of the dungeon. The four corners and the, the one at the center. Big chest, but now we have the large key. You found the mirror shield. You can now reflect lasers. Okay. Mirror shield, yay. Um, so, um, we have to go back. We have to go back to the. Um, Yes, basement one. 
and get the chest that you see on the map. Kane of Samaria again. Basement three. Hmm. That that's interesting. I can almost jump over these. Oh yes, I can. <laughs> it's funny. I I just discovered it. But it's it's quite difficult because you have to be. Uh, at the, the exact good position. So, um, basement one. We are on the correct floor. time uh, you have to let this crystal switch uh, to blue so there was this room where we couldn't do everything um, before Because of this laser, but now with with your mirror shield, you can traverse the lasers. But what's the point? Because you end up in that room, and there seems to be nothing. But that's not possible, is it? And look at that, two bombs. There is a special wall here. I think it's not mentioned on the map. No, it's not. Don't forget to uh, <laughs> lift this skull because otherwise you don't get the chest. It's not working. Oh, never mind. So now we have the small key that we needed. We have the treasure of the dungeon. So the last step is to get the boss key in the room um, that we saw earlier in the second basement. And to go to that room... Um, yes, you have to... You have to get back to the first floor one more time. Mm 
Not exactly to the first floor, but the you have to fall in the the big the big hole. So this time, yes, you can do that. <laughs> okay, so that's just here, but we are stuck because of the block, and there is nothing to do here. So what we have to do is go that way and come back as soon as we can. I mean, as soon as we have changed um, our floor in order to reset, reset the block. So maybe it's easy, we just have to find some stairs and use them and then go back but what we find is not stairs we only find that hole so it's not so easy We have to find our way back to the first basement. Oh, but it's something that we already did before. I want the boomerang. Okay, we are back to the first basement. And the switches, the crystal switches must be red so that you can pass so that you can pass them and then traverse these rooms the reverse way and it's almost done oh. and voila I hope you have the small key at this point. <laughs> oh, I need to change that. No, that. Boss key! Yay! So, um, to get to the boss, it's very long. The easiest, the easiest way to do it is to save and restart your game. So, what did I do? Save and no, yes. Okay. <laughs> this dungeon is very long. Okay. No, yes. Oh, I need to change the crystal switches to blue. I don't need to kill you, keep those. And you have the mirror shield so you can get past this laser. 
and you don't have to um, fall into the hole and do the whole dungeon again just to get here. Okay, and this puzzle is saved, so we can go to the boss room directly. And now we are close to the end of the game. Oh, Billy the Reckless, you did not think you would find your old buddy, Billy the Reckless, greatest hero of all times. The princess and the eight the eight child, child <laughs> are not here anymore children. They did find shelter in my palace, but I took the responsibility of handing them to Aghanim. Oh, so, Billy, you're a bad guy after all. Now it's your turn to die. So, Billy is one of the easiest boss bosses ever, if you just do that. Yeah! Heart container! Your heart meter increased by one! But is it really finished? That Billy was really incapable of anything, seeing as how he, along with my, all my minions, all my other minions, sorry, could not end you, little parasite. I am making it a private matter. You will disappear once and for all. And then finally, I will get my hands on the trifles and extend my power to the whole world. Ha 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 ha! Here is my favorite boss of the game. This fight will be epic. So for now, it's quite the same as oh, as in dungeon number five, when we first met him. You have to oh, mm, use your sword when uh, he shoots orange fireballs and you have to just avoid the blue fireballs oh. oh, I missed it mm. maybe I I'm too close Yes. And blue fireballs are really annoying because they bounce a lot before they disappear. You are rather tough, that is no lie. But what about this? And the fight is just beginning. And now we have fake agonims. Two fake agonims. So the fake ones are as much as dangerous as the real one, but they can be mm, not really killed, but you can make them disappear just by shooting them like, like that. So now we have the real agonim, and normally there should be a fake somewhere, or maybe not, maybe it received a uh, an orange fireball and I didn't notice it. Ah Yes. When you hurt the real agony, the fake ones are back. But why is there only one fake? This is Strange. There should be two fakes. Maybe the sec second one appears later. 
Oh, yes. Two fakes. And now you should really, really disable them. And then fight the real one. And now he's shooting three fireballs at once. And you will see <laughs> he's gonna become worse and worse. Because now it is shooting. Oh. No, still three fireballs. But soon he will shoot. Oh, five fireballs at once. Thank you, fairy. No! Ah, yes! Fake! Where is the other fake? Yes. Okay, I hope there will be orange. Yes. Okay, now he's shooting four or five fireballs at once. And now five. Okay, I still have two fairies and a red potion, so I should be okay. But this fight is so epic. Fake! Oh no, you're real! You're fake! Ah! Oh! That's nice. He was just hurt by uh, an orange fireball that had bounced before. Yes! You're dead! I am defeated. This is the end. I was not up to it. I bow down before your bravery. Since I was not able to defeat you, it is now time for me to free my master. Ha ah, 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 ha ah, ah, ha ah, ah. ha ha Of course, you didn't think the game was finished, did you? Thus, you have managed to defeat my alter ego, the dark sorcerer Aghanim. That was pretty useless, considering it made him free me. The dark times are not over. As a, as a reward for your work, you, the princess, as well as the eight children, are invited to join me in my palace. I will take the trifles back, and you shall be the first to witness to witness this amazing event. Let your spirit travel freely. And you are teletransported somehow to the Shrine of Memories. But I'm not talking too loud because the music is great. Let's eat a croissant so that the sound of the hearts stops. And now we can hear the music. I won't visit the dungeon in this video, but I just want to hear the music.
Okay, so <laughs> let's uh, let's end the video here. Um, this music this music was made by by Ma uh, Marine just for the Zelda Mystery of Sorrows D DX. She also made the music of the mountains and another one that we will hear um, during this dungeon. But this will be in the next video. Um, what did I want to say? I don't remember. Never mind. Okay, so that's it for this episode. In the next one we will make a few side quests. Um, just to get some stuff that we can get thanks to the mirror shield. And then we will visit the last dungeon. Okay, oh yes, I remember what I wanted to say. Um, the music is... Uh, maybe we re you recognize it. Maybe you can recognize it. It's from the um, um, shrine of... Uh, the southern shrine of Zelda Link's Awakening. And it's so cool. I love it. Okay. <laughs> By the way, you can get out of the dungeon. Uh, okay, so thank you guys for watching, and I will see you. I will see you next time. Bye bye.